Welcome to another episode in the 23 part collection. This is 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days over the course of December. Today we have one of the funniest stories that you'll ever hear. This is a day that when MJ was on the Wizards, one of his teammates trash talked him. MJ traded him out the next year. Not only that, the same thing happened with Steven Jackson on the Charlotte Bobcats and these stories are the funniest stories that you will ever hear. So if you are ready for that, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy the videos and hit that notification button if you want to stay up to date when a new video releases straight away. There is a playlist on the top right of your screen and in the description that has all the Michael Jordan videos that we've done so far. And on the screen right now is also all the footage used in this video with interviews, highlights, highlights and everything on it so be sure to check out that if you want to watch them in their entirety but I don't want to keep you guys waiting so I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy when MJ came man it was it was the goat man that's 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 goat status man as a two guard coming up and Mike you know being your idol growing up and now you got an opportunity to lock it up with him and and mm -hmm. and learn and, and, and get as much information off of him. He had a unique personality. Great to be around. Great to be around. Because even my second year, he used to come down and practice with us all the time, right? But he didn't, you know, every now and then he'd come in and, you know, work out with us. Kind of similar to what he did with y'all when you was on the Bobcat, Jack. Yeah, You know, he'd right. come down and work out with us. And me and Prof used to play with him all the time. And we used to talk trash to MJ all the time, but it was only certain things that I would say. And I wanted to ask you specifically, because you played with Michael Jordan. And then after that, I went and played in the league for a couple of years with Washington. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember a day in practice one day and I'm, I'm guarding and two straight plays, he come down. Like he would dribble two times, pull up. One, two dribble, pull up in my face. And, and he's talking to me as he's doing it. He's also teaching while he's doing it, right? In the middle of the court, he says, hey, Rip, add that to your game. Get that in your game. That's the hardest play to guard the whole medium range game. The mid range jump shot. Yes, sir. But then there was also another side where it was the talk and trash Michael Jordan. And, you know, Prof would sometimes, you know, say a little bit of extra stuff that I wouldn't yeah. just, I wouldn't go there. And I, and I remember one time we were playing in practice, right? And Prof, you know, might have hit a shot on MJ and he was like running down court, yeah, you can't guard me with them old ass knees. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Stop, time out, time what? out. You know, his knee would swell up after games sometimes and he would have to get him drained. <clears throat> and to that point, that was the nastiest thing I'd ever seen. So they come out with this big needle and they drain it and like this black tar goo looking stuff came out, you know, but he, so his body was just different. I was like, oh, nah. You you don't you don't you don't say that to the goat. MJ was heated, and you felt it like palpably. Hate to lose. No matter what. No, I heard it, felt it, saw it. It just it wasn't acceptable in any form, in anything. Though. In anything. In anything. I mean, he was heated to the point that when I went to my exit meeting, uh, uh, cause you know he was he was the president at the time. I went yeah. into my exit meeting. He was like, oh, okay, Rip, you know, your man, your buddy, you know what I'm saying? Cause he ended up trading prof that 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 uh, summer. <laughs> he was like, oh, your man. He was like, oh yeah, he ain't going. He 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 out of here. He said, but you gonna oh, be there by hell you you gonna be there by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna have your buddy to to co-sign and you know you gonna be on the island by yourself. I like look. He was still I'm, mad. He was, was still like, mad. I was like, Em, I don't want no problems, bro. I don't want no problems. <laughs> At all, I'm your teammate, man. But uh, when, yeah. but when he came, I know, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. <laughs> we Jack, got into it. Right? He traded my ass too. Should I got into it with MJ? Mike. Yes. Mike, son, Mike signed the shit out of me. One day you might look up and see me playing the game at 50. Oh, don't laugh. Don't <laughs> that. Never say never. What, what Jordan? We who the say? fuck up? We you we. So niggas really talk shit to Mike? Man, let me tell you what happened. So I was playing in Charlotte, right? Was he, he was, what was he the, he was the owner of the team that you played for? How, how did that work out with my, with you and Mike? Yeah, um, at that time I um, I was with uh, Golden State and I wanted to get traded and they traded me to Charlotte. Mike traded for me. And uh, he was the owner at the time. And uh, you know, Mike is a competitive guy. He's somebody we all look up to. The first year I got there, we got to the playoffs for the first time. And it, so MJ loved me for that alone. Right. But when I first got there, it was kind of rocky. You know what I'm saying? I just got traded. Uh, so we got our ass beat by somebody. And uh, 
he came in the locker room after the game just going off on us like we need to get our shit together, right? And I made some little comment or something like that. He ain't say nothing. So he came to practice the next day. Yeah, I remember, you know, back then when I was with the Charlotte Bobcats, me and Mike played. Uh, Mike decided to come and uh, play pickup against us. Who was, who was y'all starting for? Uh, me, Raymond Felton, Gerald Wallace. Today he's in full gear. Steven Jackson, Boris Dia, and Gerald Wallace were the uh, veterans along with myself. Tyson Chandler, or, um, Man, shout out to all the niggas that got cooked by a 51 year old Mike. Yeah, we got cooked. We got cooked. <laughs> Obviously, um, we were kind of sleeping on him because he was in his early 50s, but for some reason, he still felt he was the Mike of old. And uh, do you think if you play against some of your guys right now, do, do you sometimes do that or not? Or could you win on one on ones against them? Or? I'm pretty sure I can, so I don't want to do that and de demolish their confidence, so I stay away from them. I let them think that they are good, and but I'm too old to do that anyway. Of course, Steven Jackson, being Steven Jackson, <laughs> started talking trash. And then you guys uh, kind of went back and forth. Back on that shit. Mm. Yeah, y'all think y'all did something? I'm six, oh, he's like talking about all his accolades. He decided to get in the mix, get in the practice, and try to stir some things up to try to get us going, and it worked. To where me and him had words going back and forth. Take my shoes off. Yeah, Cause you know, he had gave me, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't just talking to me, he was talking cause everybody had his shoes off, but he yeah. had gave me a deal and all that. Yeah. This shit kind of directed to me and Jerry Wallace cause yeah. we, the, we the leaders of the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he going off. You have to be careful as your owner. You, you don't want to go hard. And I think that Steven Jackson started that scrimmage by saying, that was the past, this is now. And I will bust yo, you know what? Hey, I will bust your which is a mistake because and Michael got furious. We'll get to talking shit. Now he'll get serious and start busting our ass. Then it get to the point where we talking shit. Well, it started trash talking to to Steven Jackson. If I didn't know anything about all Michael Jordan's accomplishments, I knew that day. Okay, he told me about all the championships, everything he's done, sports points scored, and he reminded me that I was on his team. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the all shit I've done. Y'all went to I'm just going off on his right to the point where he. Gets on the second team in practice. And we lose. You lying. You ain't losing 50 years old. Mike's too old. How old was Mike? Listen, listen, this was, nigga, this was in 2010. Mike suited up? No, oh, he, whatever he had on, he came out there, got on, got on, well, pushed against the guard, whoever Gerald Wallace was guarding, the three guard, kicked him out and got in that spot and played with the second team. My second team wasn't scrubs now, but he just made, gave them niggas confidence through the roof. And he scored a couple points. And to the point where he talked so much shit afterwards, he grabbed the ball and went dunk one on the way out. Yeah, the true story. Ask anybody that was on my Charlotte team, dog. And he came in there and bust our ass. Today wasn't anything other than me getting exercise, so don't take it out of context. His presence is electrifying. And, you know, he's at the point where if he were gonna play eight minutes, 10 minutes, I don't think there's any chance in the world I could talk him into that. But it's a wonderful thought. Okay, so at that point, I felt that trash talking was won by him. You're right, I'm on your team, you do pay my check. This is a 50, I think it was 50 or 51, killing, well, all of us during a scrimmage and talking to Steven Jackson, telling him, how's the leather tasting in your mouth every time he made a shot on his face? I mean, it was incredible, his competitiveness at that age. It was good for us and it was good for the team morale because we needed that at the time. Tell me this, did you feel like shit? I, one thing, one thing. Did, was you like, this old motherfucker nah, just I, came I, in and did us dirty no, like I, this I, and I, 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 on the way out? Nah, I'm a real one. I, this is what I told myself. You can ask my partners when I got home. That's why you the go. <laughs> Hey, That's why hey, I'm wearing the shoes. Hey, yeah. he, he Mike had to come in. See, I don't know what you said. You washed up now. I want to hear that I thought shit. We had him. Mike show up the next day. <laughs> Take my fucking shoes off, nigga. Hey. You niggas don't deserve to play in my shit. Hey. You niggas deserve Damn, Mike. to play in something else. Fuck off, my. Get out. And of course, he did not end up well for Steven Jackson. <laughs> all in all, it was not a good career move because I got traded the year after that. So maybe he was still thinking about it when they traded me. <laughs> I haven't spoke to Mike since I got traded. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's a hell of a joint, man. Thanks. I ain't never heard Mike came in the locker room cooked you, niggas. 
<laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> right, right, right after we got his hood. <laughs> you got to be careful. You got to be careful. But when MJ came, man, I, I just thought it was a, a blessing. I remember going back home after the first couple games and you turn on ESPN or turn on whatever, and all the highlights will be Michael Jordan. Nobody else. <laughs> Nobody else. Well, not even on the other team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just him. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah. It, was, it was MJ. So even when we come to the game, the cameras was all on MJ and everybody else was over there. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to figure this one out. I'm going to figure this one out, right? Okay, right? So I remember uh, when, he, when he took the two dribbles, got to a spot, knocked down a shot, and then he was walking off. Because anytime M hit a big shot, he always put the fist out. You yeah, look at yeah. the history of his game, especially when he was in Chicago. He did it in practice. Anytime he made it, it was about the fist. So boy, oh boy, when I see me make that shot. <laughs> Jones the trigger. Jordan for the win. Got it! And I see him walking to the middle of the floor. I said, you know what, real? I'm getting right beside his ass. Hey, <laughs> listen, they ain't gonna skip over me tonight. <laughs> so I put my fist right next to it, and my mind was like, all right, you know what? Somebody's going to get this shot. And when they get this shot, they're going to say, what happened? And they ain't going to know who made the shot. Bro. So now so my kids, I got that That's... that, that uh, a big old poster, you know, in my uh, theater room. And my kids walk through and they say, Dad, you and MJ got the same pose. What happened? I said, Dad hit one of the biggest shots. <laughs> and MJ would come to me after the game and be like, hey, Rip, I see what you're doing out there. I see what you're doing. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> and how funny were those stories if you did enjoy them please help me out by hitting that like button and here are two new episodes i think that you will also enjoy so be sure to check them out and i'll catch you guys tomorrow